Because something's happening up here in Siberia that is going to dominate the weather pattern across all of Eastern Asia for the upcoming week. And that is this high pressure, not only a high pressure, but a record high pressure reported here in Mongolia. In fact, it is the highest pressure ever reported on record anywhere in the world if the World Meteorological Agency uh, confirms this. Now, they do have to verify it because it is at a higher elevation. So they look through the records just to confirm it as you uh, kind of convert it down to sea level pressure here. But the previous one was 1,084.8 hectopascals, also reported here in Mongolia. At this location here, though, look at this, 1,094.3 hectopascals. That is an absurdly strong high pressure system and I, I just think it's absolutely remarkable uh the report here now one thing i do want to note it's extremely cold where this is as well and it's combined with that high pressure dominates the weather pattern globally not only here in eastern asia making these eds and waves in the upper level jet stream and eventually that could even influence the weather across north america over towards Europe as well. But here's the main points you need to know. This still needs to be verified. Mongolia also gets these type of weather systems every year. It's very common here because of how they're just cut off from the influence from the ocean. You have the massive uh, Siberian high that sits there, but this one's just kind of the upper end of the scale and it is gonna be the catalyst for this cold surge this week as well. And that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna dominate the weather pattern not only in China, not only in Japan, but even as far south as central areas of the Philippines. We're going to be looking at this cold surge pushing down here. All right, here's that tropical outlook. There's the leading edge of your front. There is a minor tropical depression uh, towards the east of Vietnam. That's actually a little wave that brought the rainfall across the Philippines here uh, over this past weekend. That is drifting off towards the east. The easterlies are just sitting here, but there's nothing organized. And with this upcoming cold surge, nothing will organize. This is just going to bring an absurd amount of wind shear with it. Actually, here's a look at Wednesday morning. Just kind of see the leading edge of that front as it pushes down here towards the south. Then as it go ahead into Thursday morning, that front continues to settle in, just starting to drift across northern areas here of the Philippines. And by Friday, this should be Friday, our high pressure continues to dominate eastern areas of China. That cold front sets down and then we just kind of get that shear line setting up with gale conditions here west of the Philippines. Uh, sea effect snow very likely here across Japan. Not very likely, it will happen. Heavy sea effect snow uh, very likely. Actually, here's a look at the cold surge advisory out here in Taiwan to put it in perspective. They do have a warning there as temperatures are going to be dropping down into the single digits and even in some of the mountains I mean, shoot, we're going to be just at or maybe even below freezing some of those higher elevations across the Philippines. Take a look at some of these temperatures that are going to be possible here. We're going to be pushing into the low teens. <laughs> That's about across the Cagayan Valley, especially towards the uh, west here, some of the higher elevations. Uh, yeah, low teens, maybe, 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 maybe single digits at a few locations on top of the hills as well. I mean, my goodness, guys, that is... That is just some frigid temperatures in the forecast for the Philippines. And for those up in north, by the way, I get this all the time. People write from Canada, for example, and say, that's nothing. What are you guys complaining about? Reality is people in this area, 99.9% .9 of homes do not have a heater in them outside of, you know, maybe a fireplace. And there's just loads of people who even sleep outside or which is an open air at home. So, you know, it, you get these temperatures down that chilly, it does cause problems. Let's just, let's be honest here. So here's a look at Friday morning. Temperatures are chilly. Wednesday and a Thursday, this front's going to drift on by. It does increase the rainfall uh, across Luzon and then eventually into southern areas of Luzon and also over towards Visayas as well. Let's actually zoom this in a little bit closer. You kind of see that shear line stretching off towards the west. And here's our front right there as it pushes on through. So, you know, this is going to actually bring some moderate precipitation uh, for central areas of the Philippines. Uh, heading into the weekend. So really the topic is all about this cold surge. These temperatures continue to drop this week. Actually, here's that Westpac regional weather outlook. Okinawa, how about that? Temperatures dropping down to about 10 degrees on that island. Yeah, and it's going to come with wind too. So wind chills 
could feel like they're into the single digits for my um, my uh, military friends out there. Single digits, 40s, high 30s. That's what it could feel like. I say military friends uh, because most of them from America and of course they use Fahrenheit. So I'm just changing that over the Fahrenheit for you. How about Mbagio? Whew, look at this, 13 degrees, 12. Yeah, I'm thinking higher elevations, 12. Some of those uh, areas there in northern Luzon. Uh, and then we still have some clearing conditions, at least by the weekend, but chances of the rainfall are going to be intermittent in there. And then as we go ahead into your uh, type A, we have rainfall uh, here on Wednesday, Thursday, but temperatures dropping down into the single digits as well. Thus, that cold surge advisory is in place there. Anyways, hey, if you find this update useful, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all these uh, social media platforms as well. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button. And of course, as always, stay safe out there. Please do subscribe. I know I say that all the time. I know every video I often stop and say what I'm saying right now. And I'm, I mean it. It helps. It helps a lot. So I really appreciate that. And some feedback as well. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.